And if you were baptized as baby, that's probably recorded in your family Bible, so you know when that was. Then come a bunch of numbered days, first steps, first day of school, graduation day, your wedding day, the birth of your first child, the day you accepted Christ as an adult, and so on. The numbers on each one of those days varies for each one of us, yet each is a meaningful number. How significant that on day 12,160 at 3 p.m., Jesus told us it is finished. Not even 20 hours after he had taken the bread and wine and given thanks and shared it with his disciples and said, do this in memory of me. By taking this representation of the body <clears throat> and blood of Christ, we stay in communion with our Lord and he with us. And that is good. Our numbered days are God's. He alone knows how many there will be. It is therefore our obligation and privilege to use each day wisely in the service of of the one we were asked to remember. Take pleasure, have peace, and the Lord's energy in whatever day today is in your journey until your last day. These days are all significant to God and should be to each of us each and every day. So prepare your hearts for communion and take the bread and with me now, eat. Now take the cup and drink. Be blessed and remember the one who called us to remember him. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make a difference. Make it count. For it is important, and we don't get do-over days, and we may not have another. So make the ones that you do have count. And now I hope you see what I mean in regard to today's sermon, how it kind of fell in place with this that I wrote weeks ago. I am consistently amazed at how preparing for a communion meditation makes a difference in how I grow my faith. And if you'd be interested in trying that for yourself, like I say, we're all family here. We'd all be glad to hear your take on what a communion meditation is. Thank you and have a blessed week. Thank you, John. Uh, just one final announcement. I forgot to say it earlier. Um, the last Sunday of the month, we do pizza with the pastor after the last service. And that's for those of you who are visiting, want to know more about the church, about me, you know, ask questions, that sort of thing. We just order pizza for you, um, and we sit down, uh, have fun, it's a relaxed, uh, great way to learn more about the church. So um, last Sunday of the month, which I think is the 26th, and uh, uh, right after second service, uh, go ahead and stand up. Uh, for those uh, in the education ministry, uh, we'll meet over here after a few minutes, uh, just real quickly. A stand and be dismissed. Father, we give you thanks. We praise you for what you've presented us with today. Um, and we do. We pray for boldness. Now, Father, we, your people, are more than just sitters at a banquet. Father, may we be inviters too that we bring others to this banquet, that we share this gospel personally and corporately, uh, that, Father, your kingdom grows, and we just pray that you give us the boldness to be a part of that. In Jesus' name, amen. You all be blessed. Have a great day. How come you're shut out and sitting up here? This <laughs>
Quote from. So you're not going to be here.